to my channel. As always, I am Sports Nerd. Today, we're going to be talking about why the worst team in baseball, the Pittsburgh Pirates, aren't actually all that bad. Let's take it straight to the action. The Pittsburgh Pirates, of course, for a long time, have been a bad team. I mean, in the middle of the 2010s and the early 2010s, they found success making the playoffs, but, I mean, they haven't really been that good in all those intercons. They, past couple years, have done really bad. But, what you're going to see is that they're not actually that bad. They're like, they're like the Reds just a couple years ago. Remember, the Reds are in their division. And they were pretty bad not too long ago. But now, they're a playoff contender. And I think this is going to be the same thing that happens with the Pirates. They've had their few years of doing bad, maybe a couple more years of doing bad, and then maybe find themselves in the playoffs again. It's like what the Reds did. And here's the thing. Why I think the Pirates are actually kind of good. That's coming up in the next slide, by the way. I'm not surprised. You, like, just go look at their roster first off. Their roster, if you're a diehard Pirates fan, then you think they're good just because you're a diehard Pirates fan. If you're just a diehard MLB fan in general, I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to respond. If you're a, if you're one of those guys that are that think they're a fan but they're not really, I don't think you're gonna respond very good. But I think they're really good because of this. First reason might be the most obvious reason. Just like the Reds, they have good players. I know, they look horrible. They're 18 and 42. I mean, if, if you're a... If you think you're a baseball fan, but you're not, you, you automatically think they're bad. But they're not bad, in my opinion. They have good players. Colin Moran went off for his best year of his career. Josh Bell, in a regular 162 season, can put up 100 RBIs for you put up 30 home runs for you in a good year. We've seen it happen before. They've got young prospects off the Indians team. I mean, why wouldn't they be good with such good players? Look at their prospects. You're going to see some good names. Look at their players. You're going to see some good stats from this year. My second reason is that despite looking at their records... Of course, and you're not that really a big baseball fan, but you think you are. The Pirates aren't all that far away from the from getting pretty good in the NL Central. Yeah, I just said that. And here's the reason why. I know you saw half the teams in the NL to make the playoffs be in the NL Central. You saw... The Brewers, you saw the Cubs, you saw the Reds, and you saw the Cardinals all make it to the playoffs. But guess what else you saw? Look at their records. Despite all my predictions, despite everything I said, I'm taking it all back on myself a little bit here because the Pirates aren't all that far away. I know it sounds crazy, but looking at their records... NL Central every year. I mean, they're just barely over 500 every year. The last time they had a good NL Central team, we were in 2017, guys. Like, listen to me here for a second. They're not that far away. Like, I'm going to keep on saying it. As crazy as it sounds, they're not that far away. Because none of those teams in this day and age can get themselves that far over 500. Like, 90 wins, 
85 wins. 82 wins. Like, you're not going to do that much. The Pirates, they just need like 20 wins. More than what they average. And poof, they're in the playoffs. Last reason, of course, it's going to be a pretty good one. It might be obvious. But, like, they got, I don't want to say good training skills, but it's getting better. We're not in this day and age that we're going to trade Garrett Cole. We're not going to trade any really good pitcher for one guy that looks good but isn't good. Their trading system's pretty good now. You see, they're getting picks. They can use those picks, and they're only giving up prospects, and, and their prospects is still really good because that Indians team, the Indians aren't even doing that good in the minor leagues, but still, everything combined puts into good prospects, good trading, and good drafting. What does that equal? Good players. Good players equals good seasons, which equals good play. And to win games, you need good play. And every team, every sports team you'll ever see wants to win games. This is my fourth reason. And it's so out there, I have to make an entire slide for itself. The final reason, it's so out there, here it is. <clears throat> the Pirates are really good, despite their record, because they have fielding. I know it sounds so crazy. I said the Pirates have fielding when they're obviously one of the worst ranked teams. But I don't think they should be ranked bad. They're not like any other team in baseball. They can actually make regular plays without making them look like they have to be on Sports Center. And they can still make good plays. They can still make good backhand plays, good forehand plays, make big splits, Josh Bell does. Those prospects can make good hot plays. And they still save their pet fielders. I mean, at least they're ranking them higher up now, but it's just because they see prospects. They, their major leaguer, major league analysis don't pay attention to minor league. So, a major league analyst might see a prospect come up and be like, he's the worst kid I've ever seen. When you look at him in minor league stats, and they're only like going off a script to show that on the Indians, he batted 340 with 22 home runs in 11 games. I mean, if you're going to be a good analyst, just say the kid's good. No analyst, like almost no analyst, pays attention and trusts the minor league system. But when they see prospects, they think they're bad. You can't be doing that. Like, and then you see him go out and field, and it's like, Pirates are for some reason all of a sudden one of the best fielding teams in baseball. It's because they've got good prospects. I mean, they got good prospects who can field, who can hit. In just a couple years, they might look like the Reds or the White Sox if they can get that trading. And it's already going way up. If they keep this trend going, I'm just going to mark my words. So when you see this video in three years, you can say, Wow, he predicted it. In three years, the Pirates are in the play.
No reasoning. I'm just saying. In three years, with the prospects hitting, fielding, all the things, in three years, they will be a playoff team. Oh, well, guys, I'm Sports Nerd. I need to give a big shout out to one little girl. I've seen a lot of people tell me that this girl, who I am related to, she's seen me before, she loves me a lot, has really been watching my videos, and once sent, even sent me a video of it getting really cute, she tries to say hi to me. So, to Madeline Varvel, hi Maddie. But, as always, I'm Sports Nerd, got a football video coming up next. But until that football video, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.